Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, direct from the headquarters of Answers in Genesis, the Creation Museum, and the Ark Encounter in Northern Kentucky. Okay, I'm trying to fill in time for two minutes until all notifications go out and everybody can actually get online and watch us live here. We're going to talk about a couple of fun things, some fun things coming up here. I have a couple of special guests with me. We're in the dig site room here at the Creation Museum. Wow, do you know yesterday between the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum, over 6,000 people wow. visited our two attractions and they'll be staying in hotels in the area. Actually, I spoke to a packed hall in Legacy Hall yesterday at 3 o'clock and it was packed from the front ride through to the back. And I said to them, how many of you outside of Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky? Just about every hand in the room went up. Mm -hmm. And I said, how many of you are from Kentucky? Two hands. They were our token <laughs> Kentuckians. And then about seven or eight from Ohio, a couple from Indiana. But people come from all over. And there were people yesterday from uh, Nicaragua, uh, people from mm -hmm. Canada. Uh, there was another country too, I can't even remember. Anyway, good morning. Okay, let's get underway here. We want to talk about our fur balls. Our fur balls. Actually, we have an exciting program coming up for you in summer. The Explore Workshops, limited space. Uh, so get ready. Uh, these are for young people, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. I have with yes. me Jennifer Rivera, and she is one of our, well, workshop leaders here and yes. writers, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're a scientist. In fact, a forensic scientist. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, after this, you'll be able to test the fingerprints and decide who actually use these microphones, is that correct? Yes, yes, I could, Ken. Yeah, you could do that. Mm -hmm. And we have with us uh, Dr. Danny Faulkner, our astronomer, and looks like he has within there a massive telescope. This is one of the gigantic ones that we have. At, well, That's the smallest one, actually. <laughs> That's the smallest one, okay. All right, so, okay, I started this off by saying owl furballs, dissecting owl furballs. That's not quite technically correct, right? Not but, technically but it's descriptively correct. correct. Descriptively, yes. Okay. Technically, right. they're called owl pellets, but okay. the students will be dissecting uh, the owl fur balls that they cough up because, you know, owls are nocturnal and they eat little shrews and moles and things during the night. And after they have digested them and received all their nutrients, they cough up the fur balls with all the little skeletons yeah, inside and it's really amazing oh yeah it's exciting oh, it I, I couldn't wait to dissect yes, one of them that'd be, I know. that'd be incredible it's fantastic do you get excited when you dissect I those i do yeah. i get really excited okay we have yes. some interesting people here at answers in genesis but <laughs> anyway jennifer is actually heading up our explore workshops now there's mm -hmm. two times for these they're day camps they are day camps, And yes. each are five days? Five days. So it's June 11 to 15? Yes, June 11 to 15 and July 23rd to 27. July 23rd yes. to 27. And these are going to cover geology, biology, astronomy, anthropology, a bit of everything, human anatomy. Forensics. Dissecting don't our fur balls. Yes. What, what else did you say? Forensics. Oh, and for, of yes, course, you're a forensic scientist, yes. of course. And forensics. These are unique workshops. They're offered nowhere else in the entire universe, not even on Mars. Nope. No, not even no. On, on, on Venus. No, not they're on Venus. They're only offered on Earth, and they're only offered in northern Kentucky. Yes. Is that correct? At the Creation uh, Museum. At the Creation Museum. And yes. we have here a guest with us, Dr. Danny Faulkner, and he's going to be conducting, let me see, Thursday night workshop. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said it was during the day, but actually there's going to be one night program, with Thursday night of either week. Mm -hmm. Is that the night when the students actually sleep in the Creation Museum? They actually stay here overnight? Yeah. And there's a limited space for parents, if they get in early, who could, yes. who could come here with them as well. Yes, parents and siblings are welcome to stay with their child on Thursday night and sleep over in the Creation Museum. Oh, they have to pay a little extra for that? They do have to pay a, an extra fee. It's $50 per person to stay overnight. Okay. But um, it's an awesome opportunity. And it includes dinner? It includes dinner. It and includes breakfast. a snack and, and snack. breakfast. And then the students get lunch the next day as well. Uh, uh, and it okay. also includes a planetarium show. And a planetarium show yes. and extreme archery. extreme archery. And extreme archery. Yes. Wow, mm -hmm. this is incredible. I so, know. So what they a do deal. archery, planetarium, and with the most fantastic astronomer of all time at the Creation yes. Museum, Dr. Danny Faulkner. Yes. Tell us what you'll be doing. Okay, this is weather permitting. <laughs> if, 
if it's cloudy, we're going to have to do something else. We have alternate uh, exercises available. We never get clouds here in, in <laughs> Cincinnati area. Uh, right. <laughs> At any rate, we're going to start... I saw, I saw the sun once this year. Uh, once or twice. <laughs> we're going to start uh, mid to late afternoon by looking at the sun. We have uh, special filters we put on this telescope and another telescope. Wait, our... Now, wait a, minute, wait a minute. When I was a young boy, I was told never look at the sun. Never look at the sun without the proper filters. If you don't have the filters and or you don't know what you're doing, don't try it at home. But we have the special filters and we hope we know what we're doing here. Okay. We have a very um, popular sunspotting program where we look at the sun with two different telescopes for sunspots and prominences. Um, and, you and you have bigger telescopes than this. Bigger telescopes. Yeah. Our nighttime program, we use typically four different telescopes. We will be looking at uh, several planets that will be out, uh, probably a, a nebula, uh, the ring nebula is really pretty, the gl uh, globular cluster, and perhaps a few galaxies as well. That's incredible. Hey, how, how many other Christian facilities would you say have an observatory like we do? We actually have an observatory here, mm -hmm. and we've got that big uh, building at the back, and you press a button, and the roof slides off onto the deck, and then we have all these telescopes. Well, there are, a, a, I know of a couple of Christian colleges that have observatories, but I don't think they're used that much, and they don't have the uh, size and the number of telescopes we have. We have more than 10 telescopes. Our two biggest are 16-inch reflectors. So this is a unique facility in the entire world. I really. think it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what an opportunity. Hey, I think there's space for how many young people, uh, Jennifer, for each of these day camps? There's only space for 50 students. Only space for 50 students. Now, Fourth they, grade through 12th grade. If they go online to the creationmuseum.org website, yes. mm -hmm. creationmuseum.org, mm -hmm. and look up the Explore Four Day Summer Camp, is five what day. we call them. Five day. Did I say four, four day? You said four day. It's five days? It's five days. It's five days. Yes. But five it, it'll days, go so fast it'll seem like... But only one sleepover. Oh, okay. One right. sleepover. Five days with five one days, sleepover. Five days, one sleepover. Right. Explore five day summer camp at the Creation Museum. Yes. And you're doing it twice. We're doing it twice. And they're sort of the same, but there are some differences. There right? are some differences. In June, we're going to offer genetics and geology and forensics, zoology, and astronomy. But in July, we're going to offer human anatomy and botany. So it'll be just a little bit different. Uh, so they can choose which one they want to come right, to. Which what if someone like wanted more? to come to both? Could they do that? They could definitely come to both. There'll be some yes. overlap, but a lot of new stuff as well. A lot of new stuff as well. The, mm -hmm. These are really exciting. Yes. These are phenomenal. I, I don't know of anywhere else in the world that's offered these with the unique apologetics yes. vent that we have here at Answers mm -hmm. in Genesis mm -hmm. and training them in, in the sciences yes. and training in forensic science mm -hmm. and geology and biology and astronomy, human anatomy, mm -hmm. and dissecting our furballs. And dissecting a sheep's heart. And dissecting a sheep's yes. heart. If you ever yes. wanted to dissect a sheep's yes. heart. Yes, you can yeah. do it here. What's more exciting to you, the sheep's heart or the owl furball? Probably the owl furball. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew. It. So, so are they doing that at both both the? Uh, they will be dissecting camps? the owl pellets at both summer camps. Okay. The sheep's heart is going to be in July camp. Okay. When we do human anatomy. So and yes. astronomy at both. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that's the night that they're actually staying here at the museum. Correct. They get to see a planetarium program. Mm -hmm. Parents can stay overnight with them for an additional fee yes. and. Mm -hmm. I'm going, to ask, I'm going to put Dr. Denny Fulton on the spot here. Are you staying overnight with them? I haven't decided yet. If people want to hang out at the observatory all night, I'll do that. But, uh, okay, I, there's a challenge for you. Okay. <laughs> I, he said it publicly. I, and I, I, I spend the night at observatory many times. So it's no, no big deal to me, but I enjoy doing that and sharing with people. But I, I could spend so the night. So instead of we'll counting see. sheep, you exactly. count stars? Exactly. Oh, that will be really great. So, uh, Jennifer, tell us some of the other exciting things that will be happening. Microscopes? Yes, we'll be doing lots of microscopy, and our team has been developing scavenger hunts for the kids on different mm -hmm. days. And one of the most exciting things is our forensics case file that the students are going to have to examine footwear impressions and fingerprints. Uh, they're going to get to go to the crime scene and interrogate some of our suspects and try to figure out who stole Skippy the Wallaby from the petting zoo. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Who stole Skippy the Wallaby from the petting zoo? So you're yes. going to set it up like a... Um, yeah, don't, don't they have those places you can go to where you've got to solve a crime or something to yes. get out of locked escape rooms, rooms or something like escape yes, rooms? Yes, escape it, rooms. But we're not going to lock them up, right? No, we're not going to lock so, them up. So, you know what, I'm getting on my Facebook here, like I normally like to do mm -hmm. when we're live, and to see if anyone wants to uh, ask us any questions here. And if they want to ask questions, they can. Uh, so what age group? Fourth grade through twelfth grade. Fourth grade through twelfth grade. So do I fit into that? You don't, Ken. I'm sorry. Okay. 
fourth grade. But you can come visit. So I could come and watch you dissect you the owl furball? Yes, you could. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, somebody said, we'd love to see activities like this in the UK. Uh, I, tell us where you're from as you're watching this, by the way. Oh, somebody said, oh, Danny, I, I didn't know you even had a fan. You have a fan. <laughs> I love Danny's book, The Expanse of Heaven. I'm almost finished with it. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone say that they love your book. <laughs> you... That, this is the Danny Faulkner fan. Wow. <laughs> I am really excited by that. Thank if you. If there's any other Danny Faulkner fans out there, I'd like to know if there's, you know, you could get another fan on here right now, and that could double the number of fans you That's have. That's true. Uh, really quickly. So, um, thank okay. you, whoever you are. Okay, somebody asked for dates. I know we gave the dates earlier, yes. but Jennifer, could you give the dates again? It's going two, to be two different two, two different weeks, one mm -hmm. in June, one in July, June 11th through the 15th, and July 23rd through the 27th. And July 23rd through 27th. They're five day camps. They're five day camps. They're day camps mm -hmm. with one night sleeping over. Sleeping over here. And it's, you know, the July camp's actually the week after our family conference. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. well, it's going to be a busy time mm -hmm. that time It'll of be year. Busy. There'll be lots of people here, too. Yes, there will. Uh, considering there were. The museum had a lot of people yesterday, and the ark, 6,000, over 6,000 at both places yesterday. And mm -hmm. it's just the start. They just. You know, mm -hmm. the beginnings of the busy season right now. So Easter, did you know Easter is two weeks earlier this year than it was last year? Which means a lot of the spring break times will be probably two to three weeks later than they were right. last year. So mm -hmm. that um, uh, just changes things. Mm -hmm. So we've actually pinned there in the comments a link to go to the Explore Camps, Explore Day Camps mm -hmm. at creationmuseum.org. So you can go there and check it all out. and. Uh, find out uh, exactly what's going on. Oh, somebody said, I dig Danny Faulkner. They are, that's your second fan today. Okay, You've Danny doubled. Faulkner has two fans. You've doubled your fans this is, this is incredible. I, I, Danny, can you keep this up? This, you're going you're gonna, to... Oh, you might have three. Might have yeah, three. we might get a third one here soon. So, Jennifer, just tell us a little bit about your background really quickly. I have a background in forensic science as a fingerprint examiner working in a crime scene unit uh, with an undergraduate in criminal justice and criminology. And I've been teaching forensic science. That means science. you could have started on NCIS or CSI? Maybe could have started. I, I don't know if I'd say I'm an actor, though. You have to be an actor <laughs> oh, to act okay. on TV. So that's not so real stuff. It's only about 25% correct. Did you used to solve crimes in 45 minutes like they do? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like 45 seconds on TV. <laughs> oh, oh, 45 <laughs> seconds on TV? No, you can't solve crimes With in 45 seconds. With you, it's like seconds. 45 days, maybe? <laughs> could be, yeah. yes. Months, weeks, okay. right? Just but, you know, that's, that's an interesting emphasis to bring here because forensic science involves things you do in the present mm -hmm. and that would be like observational science looking right. at fingerprints, yes. blood types but it also involves historical science interpreting the past. Exactly. So you could use forensic science to teach them about origins, couldn't you? Exactly. Yes, because you know? we use observational techniques but we have to interpret the past because crime scene personnel weren't there in the past. And sometimes you can so. get the interpretation wrong. They can. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Just like with origins. We have yes. the same evidence, we have the same fossils. Mm -hmm and different interpretations right. and sometimes you can get your interpretation wrong. Exactly. Particularly if you don't start with the Bible, right? That's exactly right. So these workshops are different than they're, they're not just, you know, geology, biology, astronomy, it's creationist biology, creationist yes. geology, creationist astronomy, yes. but we also teach kids about evolution. That's something, you know, it's interesting. Yes. When you go to secular museums, it's just all evolution. Uh, and in the public schools, they get just evolution here at the museum and at the ARC and in our workshops. We actually teach kids about creation and evolution because we want them to know why they believe what they do and what's wrong with evolution. So exactly. we're not afraid of doing that, are we? Not at all. Mm -hmm. And I know, Danny, you're not afraid of doing that in astronomy either. Tell them about what, what the secularists believe. No, I do that quite a bit, actually. Mm -hmm. Because they need to know. Sure. It, it gives a, a, a two-model a two approach, gives a balanced mm -hmm. approach to it. And, and, you know, when you think about it, we're really teaching kids how to think. The secular world just teaches them what to think. We teach them how to think, and we're helping them understand what people believe and why. Uh, this, this, this is more what I call true education. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole question of origins is a great question for honing uh, critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, it's a really good thing to do. Whether you, whether you agree with this or not, it's, it's a good exercise to, to look at both. Mm -hmm. Hey, I just want you to know I have an announcement to make. This is a special announcement. Uh, the world needs to, to stop and listen. Danny Faulkner has another 
another fan. That's his third That's fan, fantastic. the third fan today. <laughs> I referenced Danny many times when supporting the troop. Wow, that, that, is, that is phenomenal. Now we're here in the dig site of the Creation Museum. We're not going to stay in this tent though, are we, when, when, when you sleep overnight for no, that Thursday night? No, the students will need to bring a sleeping bag Okay. and they will sleep somewhere in the walkthrough museum. <laughs> okay, but all those instructions are there with the day camp? Yes, they'll receive instructions once they register. Once yes. they register. So, how many people, maximum, can you take for each of these five day uh, day camps? You can only take 50 students, but of course the parents are welcome to tour the museum or go to the ARC. Their kids will be safe here and they're allowed to just drop them off and pick them up at 3.30. So the kids come each day, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. and then for Thursday night they sleep here and parents can also, for a small additional fee, stay on yes. the premises with them as well. Yes. And 50 students only, so yes. the 50 that register for the June uh, five-day camp, then once you reach 50, that's it. That's it. Uh, can't take any more, and then mm -hmm. you can register for the July, no, the August one. Isn't July. It? July. July 23rd I'm, through the I'm 27th. I'm already confused. <laughs> okay. There's so much going on here at the Creation Museum. I know, we have I'm a lot already going confused. On. And, and I, I was I was almost emotionally disturbed that that Danny has three three fans. I mean, that was really something. The fact that he was able to have three fans there. So anyway, uh, with that, I know a lot of people will also watch be watching this later. Uh, we do it live in the morning, and a lot of people on the way to work and that sort of right. thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, we will archive this as well and link to it from the Creation Museum website. So, uh, get ready for these exciting day camps. Five yes. day, five day day camps. Five that, day day camps with one the, overnight. Five day day five camps day with one overnight. Five day camps with one overnight. And yes. which day are you going to be dissecting the owl fur ball? I, I know, I'm just obsessed with the owl fur ball. You can tell It's it. on Friday. It's on Friday. Yes, it's on Explore Zoology okay. Day. Okay, yes. and that's what uh -huh. really excites you. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Why, why, is it, why is that so exciting, though? Well, it's really fascinating because you can actually pull out all the little pieces of their skeleton and assemble them, and you can actually figure out what animal they consumed. It's really fascinating. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. And we've ordered these maps for the kids so they can actually put all their little bones on so there we, and figure out which, well, which animals ate, they If we ate mice and that sort of thing, do we cop up fur balls, too? I don't believe so, but okay. you might, might make you sick, so you okay. might cough it up. <laughs> All <laughs> right, so there we are. Hey, go to creationmuseum.org. Uh, look at the top of the comments there. We'll have pinned for you the link where you can actually go and find out all the information. This is a unique opportunity for your students. What age group again? Fourth grade through twelfth grade. Fourth grade through twelfth grade. What an incredible opportunity to come here to the Creation Museum mm -hmm. for five one-day programs with an overnight on the Thursday night and you'll study all sorts of aspects of science from a creationist, biblical, biblical worldview. perspective, mm -hmm. worldview. And you'll get to meet Dr. Danny Faulkner. You'll yes. meet Jennifer Rivera. Who else will they meet? Uh, Dr. Snelling will be helping Dr. us Andrew with Snelling, Explore Geology. PhD Geology. Yes, and uh, Dr. Menton Do and Dr. Dr. David Mitchell Menton. will be helping us with the human anatomy. Dr. David Menton has a PhD in uh, cell biology from mm -hmm. Brown University. Yes, yes. Oh, his anatomy stuff, I mean, he blows your mind, doesn't it's he? It's amazing. He taught anatomy to medical students, actually. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. him and also uh, Dr. Tommy Mitchell. Dr. Mitchell's going to be uh, helping us with our heart dissection. He's actually dissection. a medical doctor. Yes, he is. He's a medical doctor, and he's helping you with the heart dissection. Yes. That makes sense. It does That a medical sense. doctor would yes. do that. Yeah, no. okay. Isn't that fantastic? That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah I'll have to come and mm -hmm. tell, tell Tommy that I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll be so impressed to see he'll find that he has a heart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, anyway. All right, we have fun here too. Uh, we have um, just a great group of uh, people here, of staff, uh, who really want to impart to you uh, a Christian worldview. Mm -hmm. So check it out, creationmuseum.org. Check out the five-day day camps at creationmuseum.org in June and July. June and July. And July. And register your students. Mm -hmm. It is a unique opportunity. Space is limited just to 50 students for and these five-day programs. And we've already have some reservations. So there's and already have some right, reservations. It's already so, starting to fill up. So, so um, yeah. you know, and if you're a family that lives somewhere else in the U.S. and you were thinking of coming to the Creation Museum in the Ark, why not come for that week? Uh, the parents and others could be going through the Ark and the Creation Museum mm -hmm. and yes. while the student goes through the five-day camp. And, and then they could spend the night in the museum one night and not have to go to a hotel. Night. 
and uh, yeah, save yourself yeah. a hotel bill for one night. Right. Because you don't get a shower or anything like that. No, you don't get a shower. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway. All right. We will uh, end off here. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay. Thanks, yes. Danny, for being here. Danny, I'm afraid three fans is all you got. Oh, uh, so no. somebody here said they're a Dr. Snelling fan, but... <laughs> Um, he's not here. Yeah, he's not even here. So you didn't even get a fourth fan. Okay, with that, we'll end off from here from the Creation Museum this morning.